Well, hello everybody. It's Friday. It's time to shave. I took a shower. I did my hair. I, I get it. For some reason, that's become a thing. I took a shower, did my hair. People say, I want that on a t-shirt. I want that on a mug. It's like, oh, okay, I, I can do that if you want. Anyway, I did. I took a shower and I did my hair. Now it's time to shave, folks. What are we going to shave with today? It's just a hodgepodge throwing it together. Nothing special today. Got the old Rockwell 6S with a feather blade in it. Got some, uh, oh, we got a, a little sample from the Executive Shaving Company. They sent me, it's a teeny tiny little sample of their Bay Rum Soap. And I can't really build up a lather in something this small. So I'm going to put it in a bowl today, which you never, ever see me do because I never bowl lather. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take just like a little finger, finger full, a thimble full, and I'm going to smear it around on the bottom. Look at this. This is what you do. This is what I do. Ooh, it's almost the consistency of butter. Oh, bay rum. I love the smell of bay rum. I'm just going to smear the rest on my face just because. And I was digging down in my drawers. <laughs> yeah. And I found the executive shaving brush they sent me. I didn't mean to do all the executive shaving stuff. But uh, anyway, today, they are my friends. And I thank them for all uh, the kind thing, the generosity they've shown me. And if you want to buy something, go to executive-shaving.co.uk. All right. So I'm going to bowl lather, and then at the end, like I said, this is a hodgepodge shave. I'm going to use some fine aquamarine, which, hmm, it's not exactly my scent. It smells almost like one of those fancy hotel scents that they pump into the hotels these days. I don't know if you've been to a fancy hotel these days, which I'm not a big fan of, like, uh, you know, those Vegas-style ones. Anyway, we got a new one here in town, and they pump these weird smells in that smells like an Axe body spray. Anyway. We're just going to shave with these things today. And we're going to chat. We're going to hang out. And I'm glad you're here. And yes, my temperature was 97.9, I think, today. So I am healthy. That's debatable. I could be healthier. That's for sure. All right. So I'm going to get this wet down here. And I'm going to start lathering. Listen to that. That's like the opposite of ASMR. It's annoying. <laughs> ASMR, Annoying Sounds, Man's Razor. Is that what that stands for? Oh, but it smells so good. It may sound bad, but it smells good. Oh, look at that. This stuff lathers beautifully. Like I said, this is from Executive Shaving. They sent me this little sample to try out. Oh, it's rich and creamy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So rich and creamy. You know, there is something to be said about bowl lathering. I just don't want to have to deal with a bowl every single time. All right, I'm gonna put some water on my face and we'll get to shaving. Mm -mm -mm. This is a synthetic brush. I don't recall the, the model number of this brush. Like I said, I was just looking through my shaving drawer and I came across this one and forgot I had it. I didn't want to use a natural bristle one because it's harder for me to create a good lather with natural bristles. I don't want to be too hard. I don't want this to be like work. Oh man, bay rum smells so good. Why am I not using bay rum aftershave in this shaving video? Uh, because I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm just a dumb guy. Rockwell 6S. Shave. This is my preferred razor. And I think I've said this about 8,000 times. So if you've been watching, you'll know. That this is my daily driver, as they say. I very rarely get nicks with it. It feels great. It shaves easily. And uh, I use the 5 plate. This is the 6S, which comes with several different adjustable aggressiveness plates. And I always use the 5. I haven't tried any others. Or maybe I did early on and I don't remember. I don't remember. And no, I still haven't got a haircut. I'm letting it grow. People are starting to notice. They're, they're telling me to use the back door. Hippies can't use the front door. Hippies got to go around back. So, yeah, I feel I'm being discriminated against because of my, my uh, hair length. Yeah, yeah, I sure do. I sure do. I got to tell you, uh, I'm going to reiterate that this is not a mullet. <laughs> But there is a postman that delivers his rounds downtown, and he has a super mullet. I mean, 
It's the king, the godfather, the progenitor of all mullets. They all came from this one mullet. Somehow, retroactively, it works through time. You may call it hockey hair. You may call it a Kentucky waterfall. But this mailman in my town, oh my gosh. And the great thing is all the bars down on the 6th Street down here, uh, that's kind of the party district, kind of like Bourbon Street. There's the first pass, done. They're all boarded up. And a lot of them have murals. And somebody painted a mural of the super mulleted postman. I saw that yesterday, I was like, yes, finally. He gets his, gets his due, his recognition. So I say all this just to say again that this is not a moment. <laughs> I do have a shout out. Let me uh, do the thing I did last time where I shave as I shout. It's called the shout and shave. No, it's not, it's not called that. <laughs> Okay, come on. Oh, see, when you got wet fingers, you can't, uh... Can't what? Can't what? Tell us, tell us what you can't do. You can't open the, uh, use the fingerprint sensor on an iPhone. Shout out. Oh yes, of course, I knew it, I remembered. Shout out to old time friend of the channel. Who is it, Sinatra? Who is it? Tell us. Well, you know, he needs no, needs no introduction. Mike Rose, Mike Rose, you've been around a long time, buddy. Shout out to you. Classic name, simple, strong, Mike Rose, private eye. Yeah, the old Rockwell. If you haven't had the opportunity to try one, Buy one of the cheaper ones. This is the $100 one, so it's expensive. They do have less expensive versions. I think they just don't come with as many uh, um, adjustable heads. And I don't think they're stainless steel. But if they're the same design as this, the head shape, that's what does it, man. This head shape and the weight feels absolutely perfect. Effortless. Effortless. Built like a Sherman tank, man. All right, here's the second pass. Ooh, so smooth. Can you, can you feel that? So smooth. Ah, here we go again with the Bay Rum. Boy, that little bitty, uh, I still got a little bit of, a uh, little bit more left, a little tiny bit. A little goes a long way and it smells great. Bay Rum. Mmm. Sorry, I'm just reveling in the smell. <laughs> it's spicy and rummy and bay-y. All right. Enough. I don't want to waste your time staring at me lathering. You know, one of those guys. One of those guys. Against the green at a different angle on my neck. As you can hear, I still always have Hair is growing kind of this direction, so I go against the grain of those. Map out your face and figure it out. Figure out what your face can take and what it can't. All right. Okay, ooh, thought I saw a synthetic bristle that had come off of the brush. Normally synthetic brushes don't shed at all. But I'll allow a bristle or two, won't you? A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? You ever heard that one? Maresy dotes and dozy dotes and little lambsy divey. A kiddly divey too, wouldn't you? You ever heard that? My older viewers will have heard that. That's an old reference to an old song from I don't even know when. <laughs> I know it's not on TikTok, kids. It's not on your Instagrams. Not on your Twitters. Hey, can we just get rid of social media? 
I mean, keep YouTube. Get rid of social media otherwise. Get rid of Twitter. Get rid of TikTok. Get rid of all that stuff. Can we do that? Instagram? Let's even get rid of Instagram. We don't really need it. Can we do it? I'd say yes. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Oh, the kids wouldn't like it, but you know what? They'd get over it. They wouldn't miss it. Once it was gone from their little screens, they wouldn't miss it. Not really. Not really. All right. Oh, man. Sometimes, oh, text message. Who's that from? Uh-oh, looks like a spam alert. I'll have to send out my investigative team. Don't get fooled by scammers, guys, if you can help it. If you're in the least bit, um, kind of don't know if you get a message or an email from someone that looks like your credit card, don't click on anything in that email. That's my tech tip for today. Sinatra Lennon's tech tips. Ding! All right. I didn't even go back to the bowl. Dang it, I coulda, I coulda, I coulda, woulda, shoulda. Look at that, what a shame. Look at, look at the peak. Look at the, oh, there's a hair. There's a little, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's just kinda out of, let's put it back. Ding, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes these Friday ones, they get silly. All right, cold water. Cold water. And then the aquamarine from Fine. I still have not tried the Fine snake bite. I've tried all the other ultra mentholated. I even created my own, the Osage Hammer, a long time ago. Do you remember that? I don't know if you're new to the channel or not, but I took the Osage rub and added menthol crystals to it, and I created the Osage Hammer. Today, I'm gonna try the fine aquamarine from West Coast Shaving. It smells, it smells good. It's got a very pleasant, almost citrusy, uh, kind of a manly um, uh, cologne scent. You're not gonna need a lot. But yeah, getting a lot of citrus. With some other stuff mixed in. Ah, let's see, it says, it's an elegantly formulated throwback to a time before men's shaving was refashioned into dermatology. <laughs> it was just made for shaving. And this stuff's made in the USA, so there you go. It's good stuff. All right. Oh, so smooth. This is why I shave. This is why I shave every day. This is why I shave. This is why I do three passes. This is why I talk to you guys so I can make it fun for me. I mean, I do this every day anyway, unless I'm lazy. Sorry, I keep patting my face. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Not for 20 seconds, not this time. All right, everybody, that's all we got for today. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned to the channel. I got more interesting shaves coming up. I just haven't hooked up that water razor. I haven't put together all the Barbasol vintage stuff, but that stuff is coming. And I got uh, uh, Harry's razors versus Dollar Shave Club versus all that. That's coming soon too. A little closer to the holidays and uh, yeah. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad y'all made it. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Hope you have a good weekend. Stay safe in this world of ours. All right? See you soon. Bye.